While modifying the dimension style in an inventor drawing is not difficult, the process of creating a template drawing that includes these modifications can be frustrating because if the template drawing is not constructed properly, the new drawing will incorporate default styles instead of the new updated styles. This video will demonstrate how to create a drawing template for Autodesk Inventor that incorporates changes into the dimension style but does not have any style conflicts. One of the most common issues with styles in Autodesk Inventor is that a user can make changes to the styles in a drawing save the changes to the style, and save the drawing as a template, but when a new drawing is created from the template, the changes don't seem to persist. Let's take a look at the best way to create a template to avoid these problems. <clears throat> All of the changes to the styles are going to be made on the Manage tab using the Styles Editor. When you launch the Styles Editor, it's going to show all of the styles in use in the drawing. And as you go down the list and you look here, there's styles for balloons, center marks, dimensions, symbols, and so on. And what you want to do is you want to come in and you want to make the changes. So for example, if I come down here and I look at text, there's a style for label text and note text and then note text for ISO drawings. But you do not want to change these and you do not want to change this standard right here the very first thing that you want to do is to create a new standard. So you'll simply right click where it says default standard and you'll choose new style and you can give it a name appropriate for whatever your company or business is. I'll call it INDRB40. Now, after you make this style you want to set it current so you'll right click on that and you'll make it active. So now this is the active style. In similar fashion, if I want to create different sizes of text or different styles of text, don't modify this label ANSI text, but right click on it, create a new style, give it an appropriate name and make the changes. So this will be INDRB40 label text. And then once I have it here, I can say rather than Tahoma, I want Roman S. That's my Roman simplex, and I want that to be an eighth of an inch tall, and then I'll choose Save. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing for my note text, so I'll right click, create a new style, INDRB40, label text. I'm sorry, note text. and then I will make the changes. Again, I want that to be Roman S. And on these, I want my text to be 330 seconds, 0 0.09375. Okay, and then save that. You can then go through and make changes to any of the other things that you want to change. I'll change a few. For example, I'm going to change my center mark settings. I don't want necessarily this extension to be 0.157. Maybe I want it to be bigger like a quarter of an inch. But again, don't make this change. Right click, choose new style, give it the appropriate name. And then change it in the updated new style that you've created. and then I can save that. A couple other changes that I recommend for most mechanical drawings are to come in here and modify the default ANSI standards. So again, right click, new style, give it a name. And then make your changes to this new style that you've created. So on this one, I'm going to leave it as two places <clears throat> right here for my precision. Uh, my alternate units are fine. On the display, however, I want to change my extension value to 330 seconds. I want to change the spacing between to a quarter of an inch. And I want to change that part offset to 3 eighths of an inch. 
save that. On the text tab, I'm going to change these from note text ANSI to that other style that I just created a few minutes ago, note text. And I want to change the height here from an eighth of an inch to 332. And then I also want to change my alignment. Notice that it right now it wants to have the text as horizontal, but I want it to be aligned for both inclined and vertical dimensions. Save. Tolerances are okay. You can go through and you can make any of the changes that you see as fit to any of these other tabs. Once you've got those all done and you've made any of the changes to any of these other settings all the way down, the last step is to come in and choose your object defaults and set those. If I look at object defaults right now for all of my dimensions, for example, you'll see that it's using ANSI. Okay, uh, default ANSI, default ANSI, and so on. And again, just with everything else, you don't want to use these defaults and you don't want to change these defaults. So I'll right click, I'll create a new style, and I'll give it an appropriate name. And now I can come in and I can make the changes here. So when I'm looking at any of my dimensions, for example, I don't want default ANSI, but I want my INDR 40 dimensions. And you can go through and you can make any of these changes all the way down. And it might take you a few minutes, but remember, you're only going to do it once, and, and then you'll never have to do it again. So it'll be a good thing in the long run. As I look at my text, I don't want my text to be ANSI or that note text. I want it to be uh, the one that I created. Okay, And you can go through this list. And I'm just going to take a few minutes here and go through and make these changes. <clears throat> when you get all of the changes made, <clears throat> make sure that you choose save at the top. I'm going to leave the rest of those as they are. I'll choose Save at the top. So notice I've got INDR40. Under Object Defaults, it says INDR40, and all of those changes have been made here. If you decide that you missed one or two and you need to go back and change, you'll simply select over here under Object Defaults, and then you can make the changes as necessary. So you'll choose, make sure you've chosen Save here, and then Save and Close here. And now if I were to put a drawing in and, and get it to work, it would go. However, we don't want to change, we don't want to put a drawing in here because this is our template drawing. The next step is to come in and actually save this as a template file. So I'll choose Save Copy as Template. And again, it's going to give us the ability to change this. So I'll say this is my INDR B40 template. <clears throat> and choose save and now when it's time for me to create a new drawing I come up here and I say let's create a new drawing notice that this template is already in here and I choose create it gives me the template 
And then as I come in <clears throat> and I place my views, for example, and let's just put something in here. It doesn't matter what it is. I'll put a couple views in and an isometric. OK. When it's time for me now to come in and import those dimensions, so if I say like retrieve model annotations, you'll notice that they're following all of the rules that I set up as far as dimension size, text, arrow size, spacing, all that kind of stuff. It's already applied. And using this method, you will not get any style uh, conflicts that, a lot, that often plague users in Autodesk Inventor. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in your comments down below. Thanks.